Hey, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about cramps, Charlie horses. If you have these, here are the causes. There's four main causes. The number one cause of cramps in the, especially when you're sleeping at night, is medication. The side effects of high blood pressure medication, also high cholesterol medication, and also uh, prednisone. So that will majorly affect um, the contraction and relaxation of your muscles, especially at night. So that's number one. Number two, too much calcium. Calcium causes the contraction of muscles. Now that usually comes because your stomach is off. If you have a lot of acid reflux or digestive problems, that means you don't have enough acid and the calcium doesn't get mobilized. And so that's, you're going to end up having too much calcium stuck in the joints and all that. Um, another cause would be taking um, like too many calcium supplements that are calcium carbonate. That's like rocks you're going to plug up things. Let's say you want to prevent osteoporosis. You're going to get a lot of cramps because you're taking too much calcium. So calcium, you know, you, it could be you're taking too much vitamin D without the, the, uh, the other fats like vitamin K2 and also the omega-3 fatty acids, but too much calcium because calcium always works with other minerals and it could be too, um, you don't have the magnesium to to transport and to relate the calcium. So you always want to take these minerals together, especially calcium magnesium. So too much calcium will cause it. And then, and the reason I'm bringing it up is because if you have a cramp and you just take straight calcium, it might make it worse. Number three, too little magnesium. Magnesium is the relaxation mineral of the muscle. And that's the one that you really want to take if you have cramps. So that'll just knock it out like that. You could also take calcium magnesium that would be good especially if it's in a one-to-one -one ratio because that's what we need and the fourth cause is too little potassium and because potassium also is involved in muscle contraction and that would come from not eating enough vegetables or a lot of stress that can deplete the potassium i don't know if you knew this but our bodies need about 4700 milligrams of potassium every single day yeah, that's like seven to 10 cups of vegetables every single day. Like no one's getting that. So no wonder they're deficient in potassium. And also if you add on stress, that will deplete, deplete potassium. And if you also add in the fact that sugar depletes potassium, no wonder the people have a lot of cramps. Magnesium comes from the leafy greens. So again, if you have those vegetables, you're gonna actually kill two birds with one stone. But I'm not saying never have calcium, like you should have some good cheese from um, maybe European cheese or grass-fed cheese or some dairy like kefir or maybe even yogurt. That would be a good source of calcium versus just taking pills all the time. But you just want to look at these as a potential um, cause of your cramps. The other thing is um, if, you're, if you take apple cider vinegar, you'll make the body a little more acidic and you'll really mobilize this calcium into the tissues. So the apple cider vinegar is, vinegar is really good for cramps because it acidifies and it transports a lot of these minerals and it also helps your stomach absorb the minerals. And then lastly, if you're deficient in vitamin B1 due to stress or too many refined carbohydrates or sugar, you're going to have not necessarily uh, cramps in your calves, you're going to have tenderness in your calves. So if they're tender when you press on them, you need B1 and that would be a nutritional yeast. So you can consume that and that just goes completely right away. So go ahead and follow this information and I will see you in the next video.